Keith just asked me, I just learned that you need to start a new character uh, come the first season of Diablo 4. Thoughts on this? Any ideas what class I'm going to run for season 1? So, uh, here's the biggest issue with seasons. This has happened in Diablo 2, Diablo 3. You've always had to start a brand new character, right? You had to start all over, grind through the game, and level up, do the progression. Everything is brand new. You have to do it all over again. Now, they are doing some really cool things to help you out in the start of the new season. So, on any account, hardcore or softcore, if you have the entire map explored, you won't have Fog of War. So, you won't have this show up. And then, as far as your altars, see how they're all blackened out? If I have all the altars completed, then I will have all of these grayed out at the start of the season. I will keep all stat bonuses. Okay. However, my renown, I'll still have to level this up again. So dungeons will be reset as well as strongholds will be reset and side quests. Okay. So you're going to have to do all of that in the season. So those things are really good. Shout out to the devs for doing that in the new dev talk that came up a few days ago. Um, waypoints you will also have waypoints to the main cities. Okay. So like when you start a new character, you're going to have the main city waypoints, but you will have to get side waypoints just like these ones that are not main cities you will have to do them all over again part of me wants to try the world boss so bad um now with that said those are all really good things okay i think that's awesome for every new season that you'll be able to keep those things however just like seasons in the past you've had to restart a brand new character you've had to do this um now in the past like for diablo 3 it's not that big of a deal because of how fast you can level. Like, even if you weren't super efficient in previous versions of Diablo, Diablo 3 specifically, or even Diablo 2 for that matter, like, you can level up to 70 really fast, access the end game, start getting your Paragon points, and then you get your, your set build, and that's what really elevated you to be able to farm out the rest of the season. You could do this in a day. Even if you're a casual player, you could do this in a day. Now, let's skip to Diablo 4 with Seasons, okay? They released an article today talking about this, and there's a seasonal quest line, there's mechanics, seasonal journey, and battle pass when you create a new seasonal character, which is all really, really cool, okay? Um, this, is gonna, this model, though, is going to be very similar to Diablo 3's. But when we talk about making a new character in Diablo uh, 4, the leveling process in Diablo 4 is very slow in comparison to previous games. Like 1 to 50 isn't bad, but if we're going to have four seasons a year because each season is three months, you know, even if it took you the 150 hours to, let's say, get to level 100, I mean, that's going to be six weeks. It's going to be seven weeks, almost two months of your journey just to get to level 100. Now, obviously, if you're being efficient, you're doing all these things, you can get there a lot sooner. You can probably get there in 80 hours, you know, especially if you're in groups. So, but even then, the fact that you have to restart a brand new character each season does suck. Okay, it does suck, um, especially when you've already played multiple characters. Like for me, I'll even show you. Like I go back to town real quick. I'll go to uh, I'll go to into here real fast, and I'll just show you. I have multiple characters. Now, once your seasonal character is done, the season's all over, just like in previous games, your seasonal character is going to become a normal character and it's going to go into the eternal realm. But apparently, they are going to make it contribute to future seasons somehow. They haven't really said what or how or what's actually going to be contributing. I don't know if it's more renown points. I don't know if it's more gear. But, like, for example, I have one level 100 uh, character in the eternal realm. I have my hardcore character, and then all the other four classes I have at 50. So now I only have, I have six of 10 slots used. So now I'm going to make a brand new character for seasons. This is going to take up a slot. Now I'm seven out of 10 slots. When that season ends, he comes to becomes a normal character, just like these ones. All right, now we're in season two. Now I'm going to make another character because we can't rebirth. So that really sucks because in Diablo three, you could rebirth, meaning... I could take this necromancer that I've already played, take all of the gear, all the items off of him, rebirth him and start him at level one and do it all over again. So 
that was cool but now you can't do that so now my slots are going to fill up very quickly and when you really think about respecking which is a huge issue like respecking is a huge issue in this game because of how much it costs and even if you don't respec let's say and you keep one single build the whole time and maybe you change skill points here and there which won't cost you a whole lot the other huge issue is changing affixes or stat priorities on your weapons that costs a crap ton of gold i mean there's people that are up to 10 million gold just to re-roll one stat meaning if i change damage to close enemies and i re-roll it 10 times because i'm trying to get crit damage i'm up to 10 million gold just to re-roll it so i mean it's almost worth not re-rolling and just trying to find a, an item with it on there. So, like, that's a huge issue. But now I'm going to have all these different slots filled. And some could argue, well, you know what? I'll have one slot for this rogue that'll be Barat or my range build. And then I'll have another slot for a rogue that takes up and does melee. And that's cool. But now you're only you're limited to 10 slots. So, eventually, you're going to have to delete characters. You're going to have to do that, and then all that time is just 100% wasted, right? So, and when you think about it from a casual perspective and how slow it is to actually level, 1 to 50 to me is not, not bad. You can get to 1 to 50 really quick. Like, that process is pretty fast. Uh, 50 to 70 is the funnest levels for me, but that grind is still kind of slow. But once you get past 70, that grind is even slower. So for a casual player to want to always restart a brand new character in seasons just to experience the new content, the new themes, all the changes to, you know, gear, legendaries, the classes, all those things. I think initially they're going to say, well, screw that. I'm not doing that. So I'm not going to play seasons. And... If, if you choose to do that, that sucks because you're really limited on content then in the long game, right? In the longevity of the game because you're going to be doing everything and just be done. Uh, the new content is for me is really what is makes the game really thrive and Seasons does that. However, like having to re-level and make brand new characters is really going to be a grind. Uh, especially if you want to play multiple characters per season. You know, because, like, let's say they change a power and they do something really cool for Rogue. So now you want to play Rogue. But they also change something really cool for Barbarian. Well, what's the likelihood of a casual player or even a decent grinder to get both of those characters to level 100 to really experience those changes? So it's... I don't know how they're going to do things that way. Now, once the character goes back to the Eternal Realm... And I have a level 100 rogue from seasons. What is that going to contribute towards the next season? You know, how is that going to contribute? Because they did say that they're going to do that. We just don't know the details on it. How, there is going to be a dev stream coming up in a few weeks, guys, right before seasons release. And they're going to give us a lot more information. So I will tell you that it it is all speculation as far as what we're talking about for that part. But... We got to talk about right now and restarting a character really sucks. Um, for me, I really enjoy the leveling process and getting to my build and getting to the like the fruition of the build and having it be really fun. I enjoy those parts, but for casuals, they may not enjoy that. So in the past, I haven't minded restarting because it was so quick to level up and you could restart multiple characters and it wasn't too bad. However, this process is going to be a lot longer than that. So... I don't know exactly how I'm going to navigate seasonal content. It may just be, uh, you know, playing one character each season to level 100 and then, you know, having subsequent characters because, uh, you you know, there is the power leveling. There is all that you could do, right? You know, you get to the world tier four and you power level other characters up to 50, 60 or even 70. And then you can really do that because it doesn't take that long. But even with that, you're still taking up all those slots and then they all transfer over and you're going to have to delete anyway. So I'm not really sure what they're going to do. They've also talked about, uh, Joe has talked about in a, t in a tweet, talking about that they're going to bring, or not that they're going to, that they're talking about bringing a closet system here 
for not just our wardrobe, but for us to do builds and switch between builds. He has already talked about that, which is absolutely fantastic. So I hope that that change gets made. Uh, but until then, this is what we have to work with. Uh, now, outside of that, what to answer your question, which character am I going to play at the start of the new season? Um, at the current game state, I think I want to play Sorcerer. I think Sorcerer is going to be the build that I'm going to play going into season one. I am very, very antsy about playing Ball Lightning. I really want to play that build, and it just seems so fun. Uh, this is all, you know, pending changes and patch notes that we're going to get right before the start of season one. But until then, then that's what I want to play is Sorcerer. That's the next one that I really want to grind into and just have an absolute blast with. So with that said, I mean, I think overall it does suck that there is no real way to level faster and have to start all over again. Uh, I think for a lot of people that it's going to suck. However, the additions of the Fog of War being lifted, having altars, having waypoints, having a certain amount of renown that is going to be carried over, I think is very, very good. for like it, That gives you just a humongous boost into the start of the new season. So, But those are my thoughts, guys. Like the video, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about having to restart in Season 1. And make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.